summer time. It's summer here and today we'll be making penne alla vodka. So let's get started. The ingredients will be on the screen on the side. I've gone ahead and already started to boil my pasta and I've also already heat, started to heat up my pan which looks like it's done so I'm going to go ahead and add in our garlic. I'm also going to add in my chili flakes. I'm going to saute these down. While this is cooking, I'm going to check out my pasta. It's not quite done yet. So I'm just going to cook my garlic until it's slightly browned. So I'm going to bring my vodka over to the stove and also my lighter. This is one of my favorite parts. This is what they call flambe because we're going to add in the vodka and then we're going to light it on fire. So my garlic is just about browned. So it's time to add in the vodka. So I'm going to add in my vodka and then I'm going to light it on fire. So flambeing just makes sure that all the alcohol is cooked down and it will no longer have the effects that regular alcohol would on a human. <laughs> and I'm just going to get my tomatoes. And I'm going to cook my tomatoes down in this sauce until tender. In the meantime, I'm going to check on my pasta. I'm going to give it a taste. It's al dente. I can go a little bit longer. I'm going to turn my pasta off because it's cooked. I'm going to strain it out. Okay, I'm going to turn my fire off, I'm going to pour my tomato sauce into this pan, this pot. Okay guys, so get your cooked tomatoes and put it in the blender. I'm just going to blend mine over here. Once your tomato sauce is all blended, go ahead and pour it back into your pan. Half a cup of cream. To my sauce, and I'm going to add in half a cup of Parmesan. Now I'm going to add in some black pepper and some salt. You just want to cook this sauce down until your cheese is completely melted. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my pasta. And mix that around. Okay, so my pasta is done, so I'm going to go ahead and serve it up. So to top off my pasta, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese and some oregano. And 
And there you have it. Panella vodka. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give my panella vodka a try. Mmm. That's really good. 100% recommend this recipe. If you guys do, it's a little spicy guys, it has a little bit of kick. If you don't really like spice, I would recommend lessening the amount of chili flakes you use in this recipe. But I enjoyed it and I think it's really good. So if you guys want to give it a try, the recipe will be on the screen and in the description box below. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Hit that bell so you get notifications whenever I post so you never miss a video. Comment down below more video ideas you want me to do. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!